Hi, my name is Arnold and I am based in Kampala, Uganda and I welcome you to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, I will be basically doing financial accounting videos. Now, financial accounting in my country is done at undergraduate level, that is if you've taken on a course in bachelor's in of accounting, maybe in accounting and finance. There are so many business courses that do um, financial accounting and also people who are doing the CPA course, there is a financial accounting exam that you're supposed to sit for and this financial accounting paper is compulsory for all. Now on this YouTube channel, um, the financial accounting that I'll be doing will be in the context of, you know, mostly people who have enrolled for the CPA course. But of course, financial accounting is the same, whether you're doing it at CPA level or undergraduate level, double entry is double entry. An asset is an asset. Now, where is all this coming from? Most of the people that do financial accounting, the paper at CPA level, are people who have, have are undergraduates, but majority of them are undergraduates. They've done a bachelor's degree in business administration, a bachelor's degree in accounting, or any bachelor's degree in something related to business. So they've just come to do this professional course so that they become certified accountants, or they, they, just this professional course and they become chartered accountants. So of course, as they're doing this financial accounting uh, paper, the classes they attend in these classes when these tuition providers are teaching these people they are looking at people who have done some financial accounting before at undergraduate level so when they are teaching them they teach them with that presumption that some concepts they were, were covered at undergraduate level some concepts were already introduced in elaborate detail at undergraduate level and so at CPA level, they are basically just polishing up. But the reality is that it is not all people that do this financial accounting paper. It, it's not that all of them have an accounting background or they did accounting before. Some of them are actually looking at financial accounting for the very first time. For example, I did a four-year course at university at undergraduate level. And after the four-year course that had nothing to do with business, it had nothing to do with accounting, I decided I should do CPA. So when I sat in into these classes with a few others who were the minority in the class that uh, were looking at a lot of new concepts for the very first time, yet we were seated in a sea of people that had prior knowledge or had been introduced some of these concepts too in in, in a prior years during their undergraduate level and so most because they are the majority of course the tuition provider or the person teaching will teach with that presumption that everyone here was in, knows this basic concept and they'll just move on so of course uh, for someone who is looking at these things for the very first time sometimes it becomes daunting it becomes very challenging to understand certain things because the person teaching them to you is you is teaching them to you while you're seated with a majority of people that already have some background knowledge from earlier classes at undergraduate level yet for you you're looking at these things for the very first time so what does that mean it means that you the person who is seeing these things for the very first time you will need extra classes you will need extra research you will need extra input as an individual to try and understand where some of these concepts come from so that you can better appreciate what is going on in class that is the experience that I went through and a few of my colleagues that were me people that were coming from different disciplines like nursing um, like uh, statist statisticians who had who were looking at accounting for the very first time so because of those challenges and most people that uh, tuition providers for example in my country they teach in that with that kind of presumption it is the reason why I have created this YouTube channel now so on this YouTube channel um, I am this YouTube channel is primarily for that person you are doing CPA, you have started your financial accounting um, classes, 
but you do not have any background in accounting. So because you do not have any background in accounting, I am creating videos for you that are going to explain everything from scratch, everything from first principles. So one video will be, uh, that is how I'm going to be producing the videos. One video will be leading to the next, one concept leading to the next, and I will be explaining everything as though you have no idea about financial accounting. So if you're that kind of person, you did something else at university, you did engineering, you did nursing, you did statistics, and somewhere along the way you pick interest in financial accounting, or I mean you pick interest in doing CPA, then this YouTube channel is for you. This YouTube channel is not meant to replace your teacher. Um, please continue attending your lectures, but for the basics, if you're the kind of person that is interested in knowing things where they come from, from first principles, then this YouTube channel is definitely for you. I will be covering these concepts gradually, making um, a number of illustrative examples to help you appreciate double entry, to help you appreciate how these, the accounting cycle knits itself up from the beginning to the end. So, yeah, again, if you're that kind of person, then this YouTube channel is definitely for you. Of course, this also goes to those that are doing financial accounting at undergraduate level and you still you're the kind of person that still is interested in wanting to know things in their elaborate detail on how things flow from first principles because let's face it most times when it when at, at university lecturers do not have the time to explain everything in elaborate detail because of time constraints sometimes you will need to do some extra reading to make sure that you appreciate double entry where it comes from so again if you're also that kind of person this is the youtube channel for you so i encourage you to hit that subscribe button um share this link to your colleagues your classmates and of course also don't forget to hit the bell notification or call it the notification bell so that you are always notified every time i upload a new financial accounting video my name is Arnold Kisembo Rwanga Kuramia and I welcome you to this YouTube channel let's get started